So, Chitra, what are some common challenges organizations face when uh, implementing a multi-cloud deployment strategy? Uh, so, um, thinking from challenges perspective, um, one of the major uh, pain areas um, whenever we are thinking of contemplating um, shifting toward multi-cloud is, is the complexity of the whole setup. Uh, of course. Uh, especially if you're managing distributed systems across multiple clouds and if you also have a flavor of on-prem with it as well. So that's uh, uh, numerous amounts of services, configurations, uh, which can lead to a lot of complexity of how you're, you know, how you're maintaining the tiers of your application, how you're putting them all over the So the architecture of such a setup is definitely something that you have to spend considerable time on. So um, for any such setup, uh, we have to be uh, very particular about the architecture that we're designing for the services and such resources. Uh, we have to be very, um, it, it has to be a very intricate design, which considers all the uh, tiers that are involved in your application development. So due to the complexity of such setups, uh, they, there is also an increased operational overhead uh, in such designs uh, where you do have to take care of the maintenance and the monitoring and additional resources that need to be catered to all of the, you know, uh, the integration that you've done and uh, monitor it and continuously make seamlessly keep connecting them together. So in, in such situation, uh, the operational overhead also increases in increase. So um, keeping in mind all this kind of complexity and complex designs that you have to uh, take care of uh, when talking about multi-cloud, there is an increased concern about security, uh, data consistency, uh, compliance management as well. So uh, whenever you're designing something on multi-cloud, there's an increased uh, concern about how the, you know, the data transfer and the inter uh, cloud communication is happening. Of course, the security uh, concerns on, on those areas are very uh, high importance to every organization. Uh, other than that, of course, the data consistency and synchronization also becomes a challenge on such an scale when you're writing data with at least one or two multi uh, public clouds and maybe even a private cloud in there. So it becomes very difficult to uh, manage the data synchronization overall for any of your in, in addition to these uh, security challenges, if uh, the areas that you work in or you know, geographical areas, if they impose some regulatory uh, compulsions on you as well. So uh, those compliances also need to be taken care of, uh, which may be something that applies uh, on transit data or maybe stored data or how you're defining your APIs and things like that. So all of those regulatory compliances are also become an essential part of that design. Thank you, Sidra. On top of what uh, Sidra is saying, Shuja, do you think there are some additional points? Chap, uh, first of all, these are uh, very valid points that Sidra mentioned and I think that should be the baseline where we start discussing all these kind of things. But there are a few things that I would like to add on, on top of it, like uh, the cost uh, aspect of uh, managing the uh, multi-cloud uh, environment as well. Uh, when it when it comes to cost management in the multi cloud domain, it's it's very challenging. It's uh, very difficult to keep yourself updated with all the services and technologies that are coming out there. And very frequently, these uh, common cloud providers do have active changes to their cost management strategies around it as well. Um, uh, just uh, just uh, it's not like that. They just one fine day change everything. There is always a pre communicated pre updated ways of how they uh, make changes to that. But keeping yourself updated with all these cloud providers that you are working with and the services and their uh, costing model is very important to understand how that. Uh, and one of the, the famous, uh, you know, reasons why people opt for multi-cloud is vendor lock-in. But again, uh, to get out of it, vendor lock-in is another trap in multi-cloud as well. Uh, take it as an example, if, if I am using AWS RDS as a serverless uh, a database solution for my infrastructure, for my application so i will be building my application around that my all core competencies of it will be running as per that solution or uh, service that i'm using but when it comes to moving uh, or maybe scaling your database to other cloud platforms you will not be getting all the features that rds possess as of now so this will become another challenge and as a vendor lock-in challenge as well for you so uh, as an expert you need to make sure you are uh, you know scaling your application as per uh, the scaling model that is available out there for the multi-cloud purposes. Um, and last but not least, the skill set expertise, you need to always 
keep yourself check in with that and make sure your team that your existing are being trained and you know being skilled on the cloud providers that you are working with and finding such uh, uh, you know the people or maybe the talent having uh, all cloud exposures are always very difficult but it's not like a very very uncommon thing in now world there are a lot of people who have been exploring or getting their hands dirty on multi cloud approaches so that is one of the challenging element i would, I, I would love to add on top of what sita mentioned